Shalom. All praise to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honest tales of GMS. Much love to you, brothers. The elect on the four corners of the planet. Um, real quick story. We got this uh, closing of the embassies over in the Middle East. This this is all part of the prophecies. We know it's probably set up to something to happen because Al Qaeda is a CIA branch or a unit of CIA. So this is there's more deeper things to it than what they're actually letting out. But before this news clip, let me read this to you. This is the book of Job, 18 verse 11, and it says, "The snare is laid for him who is him." is Babylon the Great, but also it's talking about Esau, because Esau is the top leading person in this world right now that's calling the shots and making the things happen. So the trap is actually laid for him, but also with these other nations that follow after Esau. And it says, the snare is laid for him in the ground, and a trap for him in the way. Terror shall make him afraid on every side and shall drive him to his feet. So terrorists, man. Because what are they talking about closing these situations for? It's because of terror attacks. Because these terror attacks... Because these terror attacks are going to lead to that uh, martial law and to confine people and to take away the last bit of rights. Alright, so I'll read that again. It says, The snare is laid for him in the ground and a trap for him in the way. Terror shall make him afraid on every side and shall drive him to his feet. His strength shall be hunger, hunger bitten and destruction shall be ready at his side. So whatever happens, this is to lead to the destruction of this place because you got Russia and China that's, that's at the cusp of just going to war. So let's play this and... Rich has the morning off. It's great to have you with us. And we begin with breaking news as more than 20 embassies and consulates are closing around the world right now. And here at home, increased security measures are now in place. Is that not on every side? They're closing a lot of important, and embassies don't close. The only time this has happened is since the so-called 9-11 fiasco. And they're warning United States citizens uh, is a travel warning so you're not supposed to travel so they're already confining you to America pretty much they saying you can leave but it's on your own accord BC News has learned this morning that the intercepted communications that led to the alert indicate terrorists are planning an attack that is going to be big and quote strategically significant yesterday the White House held an hours long meeting high level meeting with the country's top national security officials to discuss the response to the threat and we just learned what went on at that meeting so let's go straight to john carl who is at the white house and john it sounds like the national security community is really spooked by this no doubt about that mark the high level meetings here at the white house over the weekend are a sign of just how seriously the u.s is taking this threat in fact officials tell us they believe that there are al-Qaeda operatives already in place for this attack in Yemen. Oh, and possibly in this is another verse I just found. It's beautiful. Because they told people that this warning of, uh, of them going out of country is bad. This is the book of Jeremiah 6 and 25. And it says, Go not forth into the field, nor walk by the way. For the sword of the enemy and fear is on every side. <laughs> so... They're telling their citizens, don't go, go, don't go out of this place because you got chances of being put to death. No matter what, they don't know what kind of attack it is, and it's gonna be a, it's gonna be an explosion. It's gonna be of an explosion nature because that's the way they work and can and can hit as many or can the mass casualties deal with explosions. Okay, that's pretty much what I'm trying to say. So read that again, and it says, go not forth into the field, nor walk by the way. So like you. Go not forth into the field, nor walk by the way, for the sword of the enemy and the fear is on every side. Alright. And now I was talking about Other us, but now we can tie it into Esau uh, and what's going on now. The cause for concern are those intercepted communications from the leadership of the Al-Qaeda affiliate in Yemen. One U.S. official telling us, quote, the part that is alarming is the constant 
confidence as they showed while communicating and the air of certainty about their plan. The official tells us they even talked about their media plan for after the attacks take place. Now, one of the things that is especially concerning about the Al-Qaeda affiliate in Yemen is that they have developed techniques to evade Western security measures. Specifically, officials are concerned about terrorists carrying surgically implanted bombs. As one U.S. <laughs> official told us, quote, these are guys who have developed the Hey, man, to they want to kill Esau, man. They are putting bombs inside their bodies, man. I've seen a special. I might make a video on it, but... They're literally inserting objects into their body to blow this place up, man. That's a cold spirit the Most High has put on East on Ishmael. Ishmael's a wild man. Defeat our detection methods. John, people I've talked to said that they don't really know exactly what the target is, even if even if it's an embassy or consulate. What do you know about that? That is exactly right. They've closed those embassies and consulates, uh, Martha, because they are strategically significant and would fit that description. But there is no guarantee that this would be an embassy or a consulate. As a U.S. official told us, we do not know whether they mean an embassy, an air base, an aircraft, or trains. Now, we saw last year that with the attack on the consulate in Benghazi, the diplomatic outposts, are a possible target, but Martha, there is no guarantee this time around that the target list is confined to embassies or consulates. Very frightening, John, and thank you to you. Alright, let's jump into this next one real quick. And this next video is on Russia having its largest, um, its largest army drill or war game since the Cold War. And as in the, I'll get into the other video, but we'll play this. It's only about a minute long. <laughs> 